Hey Wilson, this is Dallin Broomfield over at Iron Chess SEO and this is the visual screencast website audit that I promised you in Boston. And uh, so we already did uh, some of this a little bit, so I'm just going to go a little bit more in depth uh, with the three things that you could use to beat out your competition online, bring in more website traffic, and convert more leads to sales. And so the three things uh, is content, citations, and backlinks. So uh, I know that we went over content a little bit. So content is anything that you can come in and highlight. So it could be any text or images is considered content. And uh, you want to have, uh, you know, at least 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on your homepage alone. And then all of your back page service areas, you know, depending on the population, anywhere from, you know, 500 to 1500 and so there's a, there's a few reasons why you want all this content one Google uh, is an informational hub so the more content that you have on your website uh, the more that they're gonna put you in the category of being the expert in your field and then two you it gives you the opportunity to stuff in some of your high quality and relevant keywords so as we uh, mentioned in Boston you know you guys got a keyword pest control Worcester okay so this keyword is actually nowhere found in your website it would be it would highlight up orange or yellow if it was see like that and so one of your competitors over here Dave's pest control you can see right up top as soon as you hit their website boom keyword that's how they're getting found for this keyword they're getting ranked for it because that exact match keyword is in their website so uh, looking over here uh, let me pause. okay so I have that keyword pulled up right here uh, this is the tool I use called Eris uh, that I showed you in Boston so pest control Worcester uh, you can see that it gets searched 150 times it's got a keyword difficulty of two so pretty easy to rank for this keyword um, and this is actually re pretty relevant information. It was updated six days ago. So that would be my first tip to uh, update all your content, get some of these keywords in there. Uh, another one that you got is like exterminator. Okay. Another 60 searches there. Uh, so uh, having some of these keywords inside your website so that the Google algorithm can identify for them. I'd put them up here in your headers, in your content, and I would even save your pictures as some of these keywords. Of course, Google can't see your pictures, but they can see what's behind them. So you'd want to have that saved as keywords. So that would be my first tip for you. So the second tip we're going, I'm going to be the Google user, so I'm, I'm looking up Pest Control Worcester, and I am, uh, so the key to SEO is having your business on the first page of Google as many times as possible. That way you increase your conversion rate. So the first thing that you're going to see is, is your local service ads, your Google Guaranteed. These are very good to be in. Um, they just have a lot of rapport uh, with the users because they can see it's right up at the top of the page. They can see that, um, you know, the reviews and they got the Google guaranteed stamp. So the only downfall to these is they are a little pricey, uh, but they do make sense. And Google does uh, back up their work here. Um, the next one down, this is your pay-per-click ads. Um, so these have their own pros and cons. Pros is yes you're you have another way to get on the first page this ad right here is very large it takes up a lot of room and the way that they did that is is they're running these down here which are called extensions um, as long with this right here this phone number is also called like an extension so if this was on a mobile app right now or on a mobile device uh, this would actually be a click to call button right here so it's just convenient for the user to find you, click to call, and your uh, you know your phone's ringing for that lead. Uh, the downfall is is they only convert around five to ten percent. We've had some do twenty, but it is very rare. And also, uh, you could come into uh, you know a, an instant where you could have some of your competitors clicking on your ads. 
there is programs for that to help block that, but I always just try to make that aware to people because that's, you know, extra fees on top to, uh, you know, have to stop that. Uh, the next one down, this is your map pack, your local listing. In my opinion, in my expertise, this is one of the best places to be in. This is going to convert right at 40%. So we've seen that uh, Pest Control Worcester had a um, volume of 150. So at 40%, that's 60 people that are going to be coming to this area right here every month and clicking on one of these top three. Uh, so to get up here in the map packet, uh, you want to have good, high quality pictures saved into your listing, saved as keywords. Again, that way the Google algorithm knows what those pictures are about. Um, have a consistent review pattern and be responding to those reviews. That way <clears throat> that Google can see that you are interacting with your customers. Another good way to interact with your customers is make weekly posts on the Google Post. And last, the most important thing, my uh, number two tip is to get more citations for your local listing. So uh, citations are simply just web directories. It could be Yelp, LinkedIn, uh, peststrategies.com, Manta, pest.org, anywhere where your business name, your business address, and your business phone number is listed. It is considered a directory and it gives you a citation. The more citations you have, the more authority you will have in the map pack. And then, of course, the next one down here is your organic traffic. So notice how you've seen Colonial Pest several times in here. You've seen them here, here, and, oh, never mind. I thought I'd seen them up there, but they're on the first page of Google several times. So going over the backlinks, uh, this is again the tool I use called Arifs. I see I showed you this in Boston. Not much data here. Uh, your site's relatively new and you guys just haven't done a lot of SEO work to it. So you've got eight referring domains going back to 139 backlinks. Your do follow backlinks here, you've got six. These are the ones that actually give your site power and that's what's going to help you rank. And then you're getting picked up for 11 organic keywords. So here's your keywords. Uh, you are getting found for the pest control Worcester. Worcester pest control again, 150 searches a month, but you have no volume or no traffic coming in because you're sitting back on the fourth page. So this is actually updated six days ago, so fairly relevant. So you can see all these keywords just for this area. All the key KDs, the key keyword difficulties are very low. So all of these are uh, pretty easy to take. So real quick, going over Dave's Pest Control, you can see how they've been at it for a little bit longer. Their site is, you know, it's older than 2014. They've been slowly, steadily going up with their referring domains. They've actually got 54 do follow backlinks. They're getting found for 434 organic keywords and they have 266 people coming to their site. So here it is. These are the keywords that they're getting found for Worcester Pest Control. They've got 25 people coming to their website every month for that. 17, 10, 6, 6. So just it adds up. It adds up a lot. And uh, so this is how they're getting some of that traffic and uh, able to you know, convert and, and uh, increase their sales. So anyways, man, I hope you found value in this information. I really look forward to chatting with you again and getting some feedback on what you thought about this video. Thank you.